hello everyone welcome back to this channel if you are new here thank you so much for stopping by please do not forget to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscription button down below and to all my returning subscribers you guys are amazing i appreciate you all in today's video i'm going to show you how to prepare greasy soup using the non-frying method Yes, you heard me right. A goosey soup without frying it. And I want to tell you that at the end of making this soup, it really tasted nice and yummy. I would like you to try us by following this method. So, to begin, I will need the following ingredients. Ugu. My granddad a goosey. I have my sorted meat. You can make use of any meat of your choice i have my grounded onions i also have my grounded tomatoes and scotch bonnet pepper we have locust beans also called iru grounded crayfish salt and seasoning cubes then palm oil i also have my dried catfish and stockfish which I will be using for this soup. So to begin the preparation, I'll put my meat, my stockfish, salt, maggi in the pot. I'll be cooking this first because they are hard. At this point, I'm not going to add any water i want it to simmer for a minute i also added my part of my grounded onion when that is on fire i'll be mixing my goosey with my grounded onion i'll miss it at the end of the day i do not want it too light and i do not want it too strong just watch how i do it and you see the perfect consistency that i want it As you can see, it's not too light and at the same time, it's not too thick. So next, I'm going to put it on fire. I have my pot on fire and I'll be cutting it bit by bit using spoon because I want it in a lumping form. I cover it. When that is done, this is my meat on fire. Now I'm adding my locust beans. At this point, I've not added water. And I'm adding my dried catfish, which I have washed. Now I'll be adding water to cook the meat. This is my meat on fire, cooking well. You have to check it to make sure that it's well cooked. I've added my grounded crayfish, giving it a stir make sure that everything is well okay when that is on fire still cooking this is my egusi now i'll be adding my grounded tomatoes into it kindly follow this process and you at the end you see that your egusi soup will come out very nice i've added my grounded tomato into it i covered it for some minutes and this is it like i said i'm not i'm not frying it this method is different from the frying method i've added my palm oil into the pot that contains my egusi and the tomatoes so i'll leave it to boil for some minutes make sure that my palm oil is cooked this is it when that is okay i will be adding my meat into the pot i'm adding my meat and my meat stock during after this i'm going to stir it this is it this is after some minutes 
my greasy soup is, co is cooking. After some time, and I'm sure that my soup is cooked, I'll be adding my vegetable. The vegetable I use is ugo leaf. You can use any vegetable of your choice. You can use spinach, you can use dried bitter leaf or fresh bitter leaf, any one you have. But for this particular soup, I used ugo leaf. This is my ugu leaf, cut and washed. The quantity of ugu leaf you use depends on you and depends on the quantity of soup you're making. I want to tell you that at the end of this soup, it really tasted nice. Just follow this process, prepare yours and you see what I'm telling you. My soup is almost ready. I just leave it for some few minutes and I'll bring it down from fire. You can eat it with any swallow of your choice, either you eat it with pounded yam, you eat it with semo, you eat it with a bar or whatever. If you have watched up to this point, thank you very much for watching and please. Do not forget to drop your comments, like this video and subscribe. Thank you. See you in my next video.